What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. This video is also brought to you by two things. Since we don't do any sponsorships here on the channel, I'll go ahead and show them out real quick. The first is my music, which is available anywhere you stream music under the name After Sound. And the second is a new podcast I just launched on my YouTube music channel called Chasing Infinity. It is myself and ChatGPT as my AI co-host, and we dive into a wide range of topics. So check it out. Links in the description below, and I appreciate the support. All right, guys, I want to have some fun here. Obviously, this is not going to happen, but we we had a little thought experiment that I ran the numbers on in the live stream yesterday that I wanted to share here just because I know people don't uh, go through and check out the live streams and I'm not going to make you dig through like an hour plus long live stream just for that. So here's what my... my uh, my focus was. I was saying that we should actually focus in on SPS. This is going to be the biggest driver for marketing for us if it goes up. And obviously, people were, you know, kind of cr criticizing how we're going to do marketing and, you know, marketing versus uh, other companies that have done things in the past. And I, you know, I just said, what if we took all the money from Hive? <laughs> we took all the all the dollars from Hive that we're receiving and just bought SPS with it. Like, if we just went and bought SPS, what would that do to the price? And how could that reverse engineer the flywheel? Because there's two benefits that I think would pop up from this. So let me uh, let me just show you what we came up with. Now you're gonna see here that Hive, we'll just say Hive is roughly at 20 cents, right? So if we go over to Tribal Decks, you do, I, and actually I'm not even gonna do, I'm not even gonna do 500,000. Let's, let's do it this way. So 400,000 SPS, right? Uh, am I doing that right? Yeah. Four, sorry, four hundred thousand dollars because we didn't get the full thing from Hive, which is five hundred. But if we do four hundred thousand divided by 0.2, right, you're going to get two million Hive tokens. So we could essentially take that, you know, take the HBD that we're receiving, convert it to Hive, and we get two million Hive tokens. And how much would that be in terms of SPS? Oh, let me go up here. So two million. Uh, so you'd see that we'd lock up, or not the not we'd lock up, but the team would essentially buy 17 million SPS off the marketplace. But here's the important thing, and I know this is not perfect. I know this is not perfect because we'd have to let all the rest of the liquidity pools play out. This is only one pool, although this is the largest one. Um, and you'll see here that we almost moved the price up 200%, meaning that we would go from you know 0.75 roughly of an SPS to, uh, sorry, of, of a penny to 2.25 cents, roughly, right? I, I, again, I, I'm, I'm just, we're using rough numbers here, but I wanna show you what would end up happening. If you go up to 2.25 cents per SPS, and people at the top levels are still winning 35 plus, right? I'm gonna use 35 as a baseline because as we get later into the season, uh, it drops from sometimes up in the 40s down to 35. So that's kind of like the thing there. What ends up happening, there's, there's two things. The first of which I wanna give a shout out to the Filipino uh, fans out there, the Filipino uh, players, because yesterday I was asking what would, what would bring Filipino players back into the mix? And they said if you're able to make 10 bucks a day. And that is actually $10 a day. If you were to take you know 35 SPS per win, multiply that by you know 12 wins on average, although if you're at the top, your win rate is probably better than 50%, you'd be making 10 bucks a day, which all of a sudden could get a ton of scholars online and interested in playing, right? Uh, or even, even not just necessarily scholars, but just any, anybody that's looking to make that kind of money, it all it would all of a sudden become serious. But here's the the, the way about reverse engineering the flywheel uh, specifically, right? Because if you bring players in, they're going to want SPS, they're going to want cars, whatever. So I, I think that does help to reverse engineer things. But reverse engineering specifically by getting the price of SPS up to then burn DEC, especially when it's below peg. Because the moment you do that, 35 SPS, right? You're you're winning roughly like 80 cents per game at that point in time. And well, hello, 80 cents per game, DEC being roughly 80% of its peg is going to cost you roughly 40 cents per energy, which means on average you're doubling that, right? And if as long as you have an average win rate, 50-50 win rate, you're coming out ahead in every sense of the word, because at least you're winning glint, right? If you're winning and losing, if it's just one and one every time you, you spend energy, right? You're still coming out ahead because every time you win, you win two times the cost of what that energy is. Now, <clears throat> obviously, as DEC starts to go up in value, then that trade becomes a little less profitable. I mean, it's still, it's still more profitable at the end of the day. You're just rolling the dice with it. But I will say this, if people start spending a lot more DEC to burn, uh, to, to burn for energy, well, that's a good thing, right? 
DEC will start to get closer to PEG, at which point all of the other mechanisms that require DEC will start to use SPS and burn SPS for that required DEC. So again, I know that this is not going to happen, right? But it does show you that it doesn't take much in terms of how much is coming in for SPS, right? We were talking about like four hundred thousand dollars worth of value, which yes, that's that's a that's a high amount of money when you're talking about like two, three thousand real players. But if you get a lot of folks that are coming in, checking out the game through marketing, whatever, um, that that is uh, that is doable in my opinion. But let's let's get away from that because I get criticized for the hypothetical of all these new players coming in. I'm simply just talking about the, the company taking that four hundred thousand dollars and buying the appropriate SPS with it to reverse engineer the flywheel. Because we get SPS high enough, people start buying DEC and energy like crazy. And sure, maybe those SPS earnings start coming down a little bit, but it's still profitable for many players, especially for those at the higher levels whose win rates are significantly higher than 50%. So again, that's that's what I'm saying here. You could reverse engineer the flywheel with the money that we get from Hive. Are we going to do it? No. Do I think we should do it? Maybe, but we can't, right? That that money specifically earmarked for uh, for marketing. But you know me, the best form of marketing is going to be a massive green candle for SPS. If SPS were to all of a sudden do a two to three x overnight, people would be like, "Wait, wait what's going on with this?" And then they realize, "Oh wait, you can make like ten bucks per day with this. This is this is kind of interesting. Let's see what else is going on here." So there's all of these second and third order effects that would come in and actually be very beneficial. Uh, it's just sadly we can't do it due to the due to the way that the money is earmarked. But just thought I'd share it with you because in my head the numbers work out pretty well, um, and uh, you know you're free to you're free to debunk this in many ways, and I'm sure it will be. Nothing is perfect. I'm, and none, this is not happening in a vacuum, but interesting nonetheless. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.